Hi, and welcome back to our case study. Previously, we populated some of the fields in the database sheet through VLOOKUP. Now I would like to show you how, instead of using VLOOKUP, we could have applied the index and match combination. In our source sheets, we have the code column to the right. In order to use VLOOKUP, we moved it to the left. If we needed to preserve the original format of the sheet, that would have been a problem. A viable option in such cases is index and match, as they will produce the same result, but allow for the lookup value to be on the right. Let's go through the application of the formulas together. I will type index, and as a first argument, select the array of results which, in this case, are the P&L accounts in the FY16 source sheets. I'd like to fix the row reference, because when I copy the formula later, I'll need to remain within the same row interval. So, if you want, you can imagine this array as our list of results. But it is still a list, and it needs to be told which of these results needs to be selected in the specific case for that code. This is where the match function comes into play. The match function will be the second argument within the index function. It needs a lookup value, which in our case will be the code. I'll fix the column reference because later we will copy the function to the right, and I don't want my lookup value to change its place. Okay, the next argument within match is the lookup array we will be looking within the column which contains all the codes. I'll select it and fix it, as the function will always look within that interval. The third argument which we will choose is zero, as we need an exact match. I'll close the brackets and the formula is ready. Pasting it down, it will produce results. When we find not available errors, that will mean that the function is not able to find the given code within the range of codes. This is due to the fact that some of the codes are used only in FY17, and others only in FY18. We need to start from the first not available result, and do the exact same exercise. Let's do it another time. I'll type index, then select the array from which I'd like to extract results. The next argument will be the match function. I'll select a lookup value, which is the code, and then as a second argument, I'll select the whole range with codes within the source sheet. As we said earlier, the third argument will be zero, as we need an exact match. The function is ready. Afterwards, we need to do the same exercise for FY18. Having finished with FY18, we need to be sure that there are no not available rows within our database. This video is an example of how the index and match combination can successfully replace VLOOKUP. In the next video, we will go ahead with the case study and see how all these lines are grouped into a concise P&L. Thanks for watching.